in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Bread of Life Ignatian Meditation on John 6 24-35 Welcome to this Ignatian Meditation on John 6, 24-35. In this passage, Jesus teaches about the true bread from heaven that gives life to the world. As we delve into his words, let us open our hearts to understand and embrace the spiritual nourishment he offers. Let's begin by reading the scripture passage together. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them very truly, I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, What sign are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. In John 6 24-35, Jesus addresses the crowd that has followed him after the miraculous feeding of the 5,000. He challenges them to seek not merely physical sustenance, but the spiritual food that leads to eternal life. Jesus reveals himself as the true bread from heaven, offering life and satisfaction to all who come to him in faith. Imagine yourself among the crowd, having witnessed Jesus' miraculous provision, and now seeking him for more. Reflect on your own motivations in seeking Jesus. Are they driven by earthly needs or a deeper spiritual hunger? Consider Jesus' statement about working not for food that perishes but for food that endures to eternal life. Reflect on what this means in your own life. What are the foods that perish that you sometimes work for, and how can you instead seek the nourishment that lasts? Ponder Jesus' declaration, I am the bread of life. Think about the times you have felt spiritually hungry or thirsty, How does Jesus, the bread of life, satisfy these deep longings in ways that nothing else can? Let's take a moment for prayerful contemplation. Invite the Holy Spirit to guide your reflections. asked for an increased desire and appreciation for the spiritual nourishment that Jesus offers.
pray for the grace to recognize and turn away from temporary satisfactions, focusing instead on the lasting joy and fulfillment found in Christ. Ask Jesus, the bread of life, to satisfy your deepest hungers and sustain you through every challenge. What are some ways you can deepen your spiritual hunger for Jesus, the bread of life? How can you shift your focus from temporary, earthly concerns to the eternal nourishment offered by Christ? What are practical steps you can take to incorporate this spiritual nourishment into your daily life? How can you share the life-giving bread of Jesus with others in your community or family? As we conclude this Ignatian meditation on John 6, 24 to 35, let us commit to seeking Jesus, the bread of life, above all else. May his words guide us to the true nourishment that satisfies our souls and leads us to eternal life. Let us go forth nourished by his presence and compelled by his love to feed others from the abundance we have received. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.